After the defeat of Poland in 1939, the German High Command was preparing for an offensive against France. Many assumed that the long war would be the result. For this reason, a special and extremely secret weapon was developed. The Baguettewerfer 40, which literally means baguette thrower 40. Some German officers assumed that this secret weapon would provide the German forces with the necessary firepower to dislodge the French troops from the Maginot Line. The specially constructed rockets, the so-called baguette cats, should lure the French out of their fortifications by covering the nearby countryside with a pleasant smell of freshly baked baguettes and breadcrumbs. Yet there was a major problem. The Germans didn't know shit about how to bake anything else than German Schwarzbrot, which literally means black bread. And it's the usual German bread. It is quite hard, heavy and difficult to digest, almost like German humor. When after months the Germans finally managed to create the crispy and fresh baguette, they realized that they only had about 21 minutes and 37 seconds to deliver a baguette from the bakery companies to the Werfer batteries, to keep it crispy enough to be potent enough against regular French forces. As so often, Hitler intervened after listening to the reasoning of the chief bakery marshal Hans Becker. He started a two hour monologue that ended after three hours, 28 minutes and four seconds. The message was clear, 3 hours, 28 minutes and 4 seconds was the required time for the über crispiness requirement of the baguettes. This requirement von Hitler doomed the successful introduction of the Baguette Werfer 40 for the Battle of France. Up to this day German military historians argue if this intervention by Hitler had an impact on the Battle of France or not. The discussion about this topic are almost like German bread, quite stale, hard to digest and inherently not funny. Yet, there is a consensus in the international military history community that these discussions are more preferable than letting them start yet another world war. Nevertheless, let's take a look at the technical side. The official designation of the Baguettewerfer 40 was Sonderkraftfahrzeug 4-0, which literally means Special Purpose Vehicle 4-0. It had a length of 6.12 meters and a height of 2.5 meters. Its weight was around 7 tons. Now the Baguette Cat had a caliber of 150 mm and a maximum range of about 10 km. The actual warhead consisted of fresh baguettes and was located at the end of the rocket. This design decision would prevent that they would be smashed up on impact and instead spread peacefully on the French soil and roll around like little kittens. Yet due to the surprising success and quick victory in France, the Baguette Werfer was never fired in anger. Ultimately, it was converted into the known Panzerwerfer 42. Few people assumed that de Gaulle was clearly referring to the power of the baguette in French society when he stated in 1962. How can you govern a country which has 246 varieties of cheese? Well, as most sane people think, that he was just annoyed as fuck when he uttered that statement. Thank you for watching, please like, comment, share and subscribe and see you next time.